Hello and welcome to episode 155 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is share your deeper message. Hello and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trin. Now, coach, I know you're listening to this podcast because you're an amazing coach. You want to go out there and change the world. At the same time, you want to have more freedom and you want to have more finances inside of your bank account. But the reality is it is not working out for you right now. The reality is you've done everything possible out there, right? You've read all the courses. You've listened to podcasts. You've listened to the experts. You've followed these people. You've invested inside of yourself. But the reality is... The stuff hasn't come together for you. And you're still listening because there is a glimpse of hope. There's a glimpse of hope inside of your life at this very 1% where you see case study after case study after case study that have gone through this process with me. There's a glimpse of hope because at the same time, you're very skeptical right now. And I'm going to tell you exactly why you're skeptical. It's the same reasons why your, your clients are skeptical. There is so much bullshit inside of the marketplace. There's bullshit like go out there and train CEOs and businessmen and niche down. Go out there and just do this three-step funnel to get leads and make sales. Go out there and run this huge opportunity ad and get shot in the foot. There is so much crap out there at this moment that you are paralyzed from actually taking any action because you know that that isn't the answer. And Deep down, you're a little bit smarter than that. So the reasons why I'm doing this podcast today is only to give you some fire to really tell you what it's going to take for you to step up and take some action. You see, inside of your life right now, there's been a story, there's been a moment that you feel that you need to get out there inside of the marketplace to help change something that you don't like, whether it's a supplement industry. For me, it was like, how do I overcome guys taking glycobol, which is a carbohydrate uh, partition. And I was telling Kerry the other night, I said, Gary, <laughs> I would never have had, right, I took this pill for a year. I ordered it off bodybuilding.com. I waited, it for, waited it for it to come before I started anything. And I got into this mindset that I could only have my noodle soup if I took these four pills 30 minutes prior to eating. Now, how stupid was I? I look back and I laugh and we just had a massive laugh about it. I look back, but I remember I remember being in that moment. I remember not eating because I did not bring my pills along. I was so obsessed with the small, minute details of everything that I bought into the lies and the de- de- deception, the same deception that your clients are buying in. But there is something out there right now. There is some cause, there is some big mission that you want to go out to change, whether it's upgrading men, whether it's upgrading mums, whether it's creating a better life for dads, whether it's creating a better life for CEOs and corporates. And maybe you were a corporate and you broke free and you realized how entrenched, how prison-like that felt to be in the corporate life. Whatever your message is now, The only way to stand out inside of the marketplace, and the funny thing is, the only way to stand out, and a lot of trainers and a lot of coaches, I bet you're asking, Lynn, how the hell do I stand out? The the, the point of standing out is to actually spread what you actually believe in. You see, a lot of people want to stand out, yet they fear judgment, or they fear rejection, or they fear failure, and they go in, right? And they go and sit back into where society, they feel society needs and wants them. Because a lot of the times you're watching Instagram, you're seeing things on Facebook and these things are telling you that you're, you are buying into a story of how you should be or how you should become or how your business should operate because you tell yourself a story that this is the way the marketplace wants to see you. Yet in reality, when you follow through with that story, what happens? You don't get results. You don't get clients. You don't stand out. Nobody wants your services. You're too expensive. Why? Because you are playing in what I call a commodity market. And yet the most powerful thing inside of you, your story, your true cause, the thing that you're most passionate about, the thing that you want to change, the thing that's actually going to save you and bring out a fire within you and create the ability for you to stand out is the thing that you're currently suppressing. Yet it's the thing that you're searching so much for right now. So coach, the reason why I'm bringing this to you today is because I want to reignite that fire in you. There is a cause, there is a mission. And if there isn't a mission and you're here to make money, this isn't the right message for you. Please go around the wheel, right? And I say go around the wheel because it's the same thing that your clients will have to do. If your clients cannot differentiate the difference between you 
and the five million gabillion things out there where your messaging is incorrect and you want them to go around the wheel. The reality is I do not convince people to work with me. The reality is when the time is right and they have gone and tried everything else, then they will come to work with me. And I've said this before. It's like being so good at what you do and not selling the easy bullshit that people eventually come to you because they're sick and tired. They're sick and tired of not getting the results. And the reality is, coach, all I'm going to share with you and all I'm going to give to you is the ability and the courage to see within yourself what you already had. And that's what I'm doing. Because to me, the world actually can be changed. To me, whilst the fitness industry looks a little bit screwed up, everybody's releasing more supplement pills, more ebooks, more stuff, more information out into the marketplace, more information is going to change the world. It's going to confuse the world. So the point of this is that I'm asking you to step up and start owning the story that you actually want to own. Have the courage and have the commitment to bring that fire out inside of you every single day despite the results, despite what you're seeing inside of your life, despite what you're hearing, despite what the marketplace tells you, despite what your family and friends tell you because they'll think you're a crazy lunatic because you are starting to move out from your comfort zone to get to a place where you've never been before. And that's the reasons why you've never been. And at this same time, I've experienced this not only for myself, but for the people that I'm currently helping. So my message to you today, coach, is are you really going to stand out? Because that's what you want. That's the question that you ask. How do I stand out? Yet it's the message inside of you that will make you stand out that you're currently suppressing because it is too fearful. It is too much stress. It is too fearful to be judged by your peers. It is too fearful to fail. It is too fearful to look stupid. And to whom you are looking stupid to? Are you looking stupid to your marketplace who so desperately needs to hear your message? Or do you look stupid to your peers who don't need to hear your message and who want to stay conflicted and crowded in a poor judging territory where they'll be stuck. And that's the question I have for you today. Have a great, fantastic day, my friends. I'll speak to you very, very shortly. All right. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes and feel free to leave a review. And that way I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks, and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients, and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening.